So the next set we have here is one of the little Maxcom 20Es. This is coming with no mic, so we're providing one of those. And no power lead, so we're providing one of those. Okay, behind the scenes, uh, I've actually had to do quite an extensive job here. Um, this radio is coming with a broken front panel, and luckily we'd got a scrap set which had a good front panel. Of course, the squelch control has actually come away from the uh, moulding there, so it's a shame that. Anyway, it's luckily we'd got that. We haven't got another, so I hope they look after this set. Right, uh, transmit. We'll take the VCO as uh, a set, but um, to be honest, I would be tempted to think, I think I've done the VCO on one of these before. We don't have a circuit, it's not a full manual, but it's still going to be the same. That says test point just there. I presume that's how it's done. Anyway, it's never been touched on this. It's in lock. The VCO coil is clearly that one there. I can't tell you any coil numbers because um, it's um, it's too compact and the the way it's screen printed, you can't uh, see where the numbers are. Anyway, it's quite clear to me that the first transmit um, coil is there. So that's I'll, I'll just point this out with the uh, yellow tool. I'm going to be doing that one, followed by that one. Followed by that one, that's filled with wax, and that's filled with wax. But we do those if we need to do those. But it's clearly not had; it's not been messed about with. It looks like it's been dropped, and that's why it's in. So we're going to transmit. It's actually doing four watts. <laughs> Makes a change, doesn't it? So we'll just go for that coil. And that one. That one, that's fine. It's absolutely spot on four watts, so I don't need to go any further. But as I say, if I did, it would be that one and then that one. Okay, it's the power meter reading four watts on the front. Let's have a look. Uh, the meter's not reading anything, so we'll just pause the video. Okay, having sorted out a meter problem with this, I had to take the front back off and strip the meter down because in clearly this set's been dropped, the meter mechanism was a bit bent. Now I've put it back together and let's see what that meter reads. Well, it reads over the six, so we want it to read four. Now I'm afraid we're back to guess the preset time. But at least whatever I undo, I can get back. Got it. What it, which it is, the RF meter is that preset there. You've got one behind, one there. So it's just to the back of the microphone socket. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to make sure that the high low power is the correct low power. It should be 0 0.4 of a watt. And it's 0 0.3. Now, is it that adjustment I just upset? And the answer is yes. There we are, that's 0.4 of a watt. Now we'll check the deviations correct. Switch the other camera on.
what we'll just do is get the little oscillator out. That looks over the top to me. Let's see how that is with the whistle test. Still over the top. Wallow. And it's the preset. I'll switch that one back off. It's the preset just there. You've got the crystal trimmer for the frequency, which we'll do next. And then that's the deviation. So I've set that for 2.5. And now we will just check it's on frequency. So we're looking at 27.79125. Oh my goodness, it's 27.79125. But as I say, if it wasn't on frequency, then it's the little red trimmer just there for that. So that concludes the transmit side of the Maxcom 20E.